care about Rancho Escondido. Are we having a conversation, Biggs? Okay, fuck it. Again, I, I'm teasing you, Hirsch. Tell me about it. Well, the new housing development's a couple of weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. The GIs are ready to move in this weekend. The developer's gonna have some very angry customers. Any century unit, any century unit. Shame about the chat. Garrison the best can find me all that stuff. He's still in custody, Hirsch. Wanna bet? Fella kicked him loose already. Can't hold him for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. Hang your left here. Going through the turn. Next corner, go left. You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Let me through. I just want a quick look is all. How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you. But now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fires should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, Doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you helped me to find it.
Looks like the same model. Boondockers, they ain't. Everything here is going to be relevant. This doesn't pertain to the case. covered a picture of the family. Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. They wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? What are we doing? Prayer effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. You ever think about how many people have died in this world? And how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them, Biggs? No, I have not. Show some respect. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? We got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fires? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. 
He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. He could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Evidence? Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phelps. So I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating the pigs. So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the second Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You get this? You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around, work the neighbors, see what they know. I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try this side. I haven't done this for years. How bad is it? You don't look like a fireman, son. So what's going on over there? LAPD, can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine, after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. Then what happened? It was like Pearl Harbor with bits of the house raining down. Blew out all of our windows to face the place. I'll have a patrolman come by and take your statement. Hopefully you'll be a little bit more cooperative with him. Come on, kid. I'm doing my best here. You were talking about the competition, right? Catalina Island? I've got one of the flyers in the kitchen if you're interested. You smoke heavily, Mr. Foreman. No. I never touch tobacco. Why do you ask? What the hell? Those aren't mine. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? A folded piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? For Elysian Fields developments. Oh, I see you already have one.
When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. I need an address for a property developer, Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. You have a message. Contact Captain McKelty immediately. Thanks. Can you put me through, operator? Of course. Here you are. Commander? Blades in the Morelli Farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning you, Phelps. Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Have a report on my desk today. Kelty has warned us off over a leisure. Makes sense. It's a dead end. We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place? Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. How are we going to look getting around in this thing, Paul? We are not going to. Yes, we are. You just won't let this go, will you, Cole? You know they're involved somehow. You expect me to turn my back on it? You're a big boy. I expect you to know which battles are worth throwing my pension away for. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? We're the police, lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. And that's our cue. Thanks, ma'am. May I help you, gentlemen? I wonder how many more layers Who are you? We can get to this. How did you get in? Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We'd like to ask you some questions. Oh. Why didn't you say so, office? We're investigating a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. It's terrible, boys. How can I help? Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using waybills. We found a family burnt out in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Point is, every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? What do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm not familiar with that one. Two families are dead, Mr. Monroe. This isn't a question of criminal liability. We're looking at conspiracy to commit murder. 
Do you know who you're talking to, son? You want to use incendiary language like that with me? I suggest you should leave immediately. He's made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. <laughs> Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. So it's for the greater good, then. One man standing in defiance of what you think is best for the city. I thought an American's home was their castle. I'm not sure I like your tone, son. We need something to go on. Otherwise, more people will get hurt, and you'll keep losing houses. Well, I want to help in any way I can, officers. The contract is I use for waybills. You suppose it might be one of them? I have a list of their names, if it'll be of any help. My secretary will provide you with the list. On your way out. Glad to be of help, officers. What's the story? Any of these names ring a bell? Herbert Chapman is on this list. Find the phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. Boss is a fine man. I just don't know how to dance the bebop. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. He was released this morning, Detective. Damn. I'm sorry, Detective. Not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thanks. Any central unit, ambulance shooting, any central unit, identify.
can you go right at the next corner? a nightstick. There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not This is safe, America, dickhead. Sir. Now step back or I'll lock you up for Smart a break. son of a bitch. Come on, then. I'm gonna black That's and blue. Cool. We're gonna have to pacify <laughs> Thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. Okay, then. Let's see if there's anything left to take a look at.
These poor bastards. They got every reason to be angry. You guys should take a look around. You can search around all you like, just as long as you stay outside. Cole, we got things to do. What are we waiting for?
mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? You'd expect some shrinkage in the heat, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. You got an idea, Hotshot? Buy me a drink, Cole? No! Not even for old time's sake? Not even for that. You're not gonna ask me why I'm here? I wouldn't give you the pleasure. We'll get around to it. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about... Save threats for someone who cares about them, Roy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Stay away from Elysian Fields. I should have known that you were playing errand boy. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. You get the message about Monroe? Yeah. Earl delivered it. You? The Kelty. He started making noises about my pension. Sorry about that, Herschel. I didn't mean to drag you into this. Save it, Phelps. Monroe was an asswipe. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. KGPL calling car 11K, 11K. 11K, go ahead. 11K, the last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is 650 North Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Roger that, KGPL. 11K en route. Let's go pick him up. You fought at Sugarloaf, didn't you? I did. But I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way? You know Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our paths cross from time to time. For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf? Or the rest of the campaign? No turn here, Cole. Jack keeps stung just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that.
Go straight. KGBL calling car 11K, 11K. 11K, go ahead. 11K, the last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is 650 North Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Roger that, KGPL. 11K en route. Let's go pick him up. You fought at Sugarloaf, didn't you? I did. But I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way? You know Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our paths cross from time to time. For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Left here. Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stung by Judas. I know it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. Way to set an example for the public, partner.